Good morning. I'm Axel, your personal testing companion. I'm here to monitor you through the testing course so that your experience is fully recorded to be examined in the future. Before we start, it's important to understand that testing will be very dangerous and I can't interfere with your testing experience to prevent any injuries or possible fatalities. Now that we've gotten the introduction out of the way, the testing will begin now. Tunnels can be pretty hard to latch onto, but you'll get the hang of it. Welcome. Zero. Yes! Level zero. This first test should be very simple. You'll figure it out. I believe in you. Yay! Most subjects experience overexhaustion from testing as hard as you just did, so here we have one of many rest areas designed for your health. Feel free to take a nap or something. I won't watch. Another test done. I'm sure you're very excited to finish them all. You'll love what we have for you afterwards. You may have already noticed the Ecliptic Industries Short Distance Tunneling Device. It's required to continue on to the next tests. Most subjects may fear the Ecliptic Tunnel, but you did it! Tunnels can be really cool, but it's important that you understand the safety guidelines that come with it. I'll read them as we continue on to the rest of the test. Rule 1. You cannot place tunnels on metallic surfaces. Metals tend to repel tunnel technology. Rule 2. Not really a rule, but you shouldn't worry about falling from high altitude. The weird things on your legs take up all the shock. Rule 3. Do not straighten your arms. The device has a big kickback when you fire, so you don't want to break any bones. Or deal with the insurance. Rule 4. Do not touch the barrel of the gun or stick any fingers or any limbs in it. Rule 5. Do not compare the ecliptic tunneling device with the Aperture Science handheld portal device. They are different. Very different. Don't even think about it. Rule 6. These rules are important. Don't forget them. Rule 7. The device is not waterproof. Contact with water could cause a dangerous malfunction opening a dimensional hole into a different time. This hasn't been scientifically proven, but it's safe to assume. Rule 8. Only point at what you want to shoot. Shooting humans has never been tested, so don't be the first one. Or cause anyone to be the first one. I will not be so liable in those situations. Rule 9. Keep your finger off the trigger when you don't want to fire. In some cases, subjects inspect the gun, which could be very dangerous if you're looking down into the chamber of the device. Rule 10. New level! Don't be intimidated by the size of the room. Velocity, or speed, is constant between two tunnels. For example, if your pencil happened to roll off your desk into a tunnel on the floor while your other tunnel was on a wall, it would fly out of it. Objects you may be carrying with the device will also retain their speed along with you. I should probably mention, if you're scared of heights, try not to hit yourself in the head from flailing your arms. Brain dead subjects cannot test. We've tried it before. completed this chamber without any guidance. According to numerous psychological studies, this indicates that you are one of 5 out of 6 humans who have cognitive and analytical skills. 
I should warn you, as beautiful as the energy projectile may look, do not reach out to touch it. Seriously, it will kill you. harder. After all, you're practically flying straight through them. solving these chambers at a superior rate. That's... a compliment. Anyways, to continue testing, you'll need to trade your tunneling device with a modified one in the middle of the room. Please, continue. Congratulations! This modified version of the device gives you the ability to place both tunnels. As fun, yet extremely deadly as this may be, please remember our motto. If your life is on the line, it's safety guideline time. That's not an official motto. I just made it up, but you get the idea. love to hear your thoughts on these tests. Maybe you'll want to do the post-testing interview after all this?
here's an interesting fact. I don't really have a reason to blame. The engineers kind of just added it so I can connect better with the test subjects. Also, mainly to discourage the test subjects from shooting me with a helmet. So